What is going on guys, Tetwalva here, and welcome back to some more Stardew Valley. Now last time we left off, we actually got some of those crab pots and put one of them in the lake, one of them in the river, and one of them in the ocean. And I actually got some pretty interesting critters out of that, which is pretty cool. Also uh, went around and also gave people more gifts and whatnot because we had the beginning of the week and we were able to give a bunch of people new gifts and uh, even gave, what was her name? Ah, her name started with the letter A, I forgot it already. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, Abigail, I think. I think that was her name. It gave her an amethyst and she loved that instant heart from her, which is amazing. Either way, we have mail right here. Uh, hey, I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Uh, here, I've enclosed a treat for you. Don't tell anyone I snagged this from the back room of Jojo Mart ages ago. Okay, see you soon. Shane. You know what? From the from the cutscene we got last episode and now these pepper poppers that he stole from Jojo Mart, the, the place that he works at. <laughs> I think he's like a stalker or something like that over there. I, I, I kind of feel like he likes me. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of getting that vibe from him. <laughs> Either way, dear, uh, wait, hold on. Oh yeah, okay, this is a different one. Dear Waffle, uh, tomorrow we're all getting together for the flower dance. Ooh, is this another festival? I need to go look at the calendar. If you could find a partner, you might even want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of town where we will hold the dance. Arrive between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested. Mayor Lewis. Okay, so this one's not going to be taking place in town square like the Egg Festival. I guess this one specifically takes place in this area over here? West of town? I guess it'd be like either over here or like here? But I don't think I can go there. I think that's like an area you actually can't go, so it must be over here then, huh? Either way, uh, I do need to water my crops and stuff like that. I did get a comment from someone uh, either one or two episodes ago saying, yeah, just, just stand in like one spot and then you can just circle all around you like this. Makes it a lot easier rather than going from one spot to another, so I suppose we could just kind of yep, do this. Makes it a little bit easier, especially because we still don't have the... Uh, oh, and we have some tulips up here actually that are uh, ready to be harvested, so there you go. Grab those. Uh, but I guess I'll stand here for these. Uh, oh yeah, we still have a little bit of water right now, so that's good. Uh, but yeah, this is going to be like the, the the next best thing, I guess you could say, until we actually have the uh, the sprinklers going. So thank you very much for commenting this little little tip here, because I'll be able to water things a little bit faster, a little bit more efficiently than me. Uh, well, <laughs> if I actually have water, right? But uh, let's grab ourselves a little bit of water. There you go, nice. Uh, we'll be able to water things a little bit swiftly and uh, more efficiently and whatnot compared to uh, literally going from like each tile going to water them one by one and whatnot. So. Let's definitely uh, water everything over here. Is that a potato that's done? Hold on. Oh, it is. Nice. Let's go. Uh, I guess we can go give that to Demetrius, but I, I still want to find out like who else likes potatoes and stuff like that. But I'm, I guess it's not really that bad if we give Demetrius another potato, even though we gave one him like yesterday or something like that. Hold on. Now. What is this? Well, it's nothing right there. Okay. Well, that sucks. Uh, I do also want to keep on clearing out a bunch of trees over here, especially because uh, that's my dog. He's like shaking his collar in the background. Stuff like that. Uh, my actual real life one. There's my other dog over there, which by the way, I need to go right click. Hold on, what's these? Okay, nothing right there, okay. Uh, right click him, make sure he knows that we love him. Uh, but I do want to clean out some of the trees and stuff like that over here, especially because uh, uh, we have a decent amount of energy right now, which is alright. Uh, but you know, get a little bit of wood back so we can hopefully uh, repair that bridge that's like by the pier, by the fishing area. Let's see, once I, there you go, get rid of that stump. I want to go like right here, there's this bridge that's like right here, I want to repair that. See what that's all about. And then also what I was thinking about doing this episode is uh, because we've already went fishing in the lake, already went fishing in the ocean. I want to go fishing in the river over here and see what we could actually catch there. That might be a little bit different compared to what we found in the lake in the ocean, you know? So either way. Uh, oh, yeah. And then also, I, I, I think I'm going to do some of this busy work on camera, but also like at the same time, a little bit of off camera, you know? So right now I'm just going to cut down a bunch of these. Tr oh, I think it's, I don't know, should I keep the baby tree? I guess I'll keep the baby trees there, or the saplings, or whatever you want to call those there. And of course, I can't cut down these big old stumps there to the right of me just yet. I think I have to have an upgraded axe for that. Uh, but for right now, I just cut down these trees with however much energy I have, and uh, I'm like, I do have some salmon berries in my inventory. I could actually get a little, are these salmon? Okay, just make sure I'm eating the right thing, because we have a ton of salmon berries, and uh, I'm like, it doesn't really matter if we eat a bunch of those to re regain 25 energy apiece, so... We just eat a bunch of these, cut down uh, these four trees right here, maybe these over here as well. Uh, and then I'm also going to try and refrain from actually cutting any of that grass, because I do know you guys commented a while ago saying do not scythe or sickle or whatever any of the grass. I think you do with a sword as well, but I'm going to avoid actually breaking the grass, because apparently you could use that for uh, ranching or whatnot, and that'll, that'll make like feed or something like that. So don't want to do that until we have the silo, I believe, right? So either way, 
Uh, like I said, let me just cut down all these trees over here while I still have a decent amount of energy and I'll see you guys here in a bit and we'll probably go take a look at that calendar and see what all is happening this week. Oh man, you guys, just wanted to start this up again real quick, but cut down this tree just a second ago. There's another one of these statues that are like right here. I, th I think we've seen like three or four of those around town now. Like we see one here, obviously. We've seen one over by Demetrius's house, like right here underneath the... Uh, where Linus is staying in his tent, like, right there. And then another one over here in the beach, like, right there. So there's, like, three of them that we know of. There's probably a fourth somewhere in here, or maybe over here, or something. So I wonder what those are all about. Hopefully we'll actually find out what those little statues are all about. And they're, like, different colors as well. Like, this one's green. The one by Demetrius's house and Linus's tent. I think that was red? And I think... I want to say the one over here in the beach. I think that was blue. So I guess there might be a yellow one around here somewhere. I just don't know where. It's probably going to be hidden just like this, right? But uh, is there anything I could do with this? Like, can't really, uh... Oh, it looks like a little bunny rabbit right there. The other ones look like different creatures. I don't think the other ones were bunny rabbits, but uh, you know what? I'll, I'll water his bowl right there. Uh, there you go, just because I like seeing that. But uh, yeah, a little interesting thing there. I guess we'll uh, figure out what that's about here in the future. But like I said, let me continue cutting down a bunch of trees over here, eating a bunch of salmon berries and stuff. And uh, we'll go look at the calendar, see what's happening this week, see whose birthdays are this week. And uh, I guess give him some gifts, give Demetrius a potato and whatever else we can do, right? So like I said, I'll see you guys here in just a bit. I guess back. I am basically out of energy right now. I'm at seven. I can break this for just one, right? Oh man, that used two points right there. Ooh, there's another two right there. But I'm in the top uh, left corner of my base right now. It looks like there might be another thing like hidden right there. I have three energy. Can I break this? I don't have enough energy to do that. Oh, well, this is going to give me a lot of... Oh man, two farming and one speed. Spicy breaded peppers with filled with cheese. Pepper poppers. Oh, that sounds delicious right now. I have anything else I could eat? I could eat a potato. I give me a little bit of energy. I could eat a cherry bomb, but that explode inside of me, and I don't want that to happen. It'll give me explosive, you know what? <laughs> but I do want to go put up. Uh, how much? How much wood do we have? We have two hundred twenty-four right now. I don't know how much wood we had beforehand, like wooden logs and whatnot. Uh, but hopefully, however much we already have combined with the two twenty-four we have right now, hopefully that's enough to repair that bridge. Ah, uh, not really. Only thirty-four right there, man. We do have that gold parsnip there. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go back to, uh, what, what was that guy's name? Oh, whoops, this is the wrong thing. Uh, I did want to go back to, oh, that's bait. Oh, yeah, we need to go check up on this stuff. I forgot about that. Uh, you guys know what I mean. Uh, I keep wanting to say Jamie. It's not Jamie, is it? Pierre, that's his name. Uh, I do want to go over to Pierre's, uh, market and see what, uh, what he's selling over there. See if he's actually selling any, uh, any more of those, like, gold star parsnips or anything like that. That'd be really, really good. I'll put up the, uh, put up there. And I don't think we have anything else there, yeah. See, I don't know if I... I don't want to make anything. We have, like, no energy. I guess I could buy something, maybe? I guess... Oh, put... Okay, put a potato on the table right there. <laughs> Check the report. Weather report. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Good. Perfect weather for the flower dance. Yeah, that takes place tomorrow. The event will take place in the forest. Starting from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Don't be late. Okay. And then, uh, what do we have for fortune? Uh, we have good humor. Hey, I think you'll have a little extra luck. That's good. Let's grab the potato. So there you go. I, I guess I could eat the dandelions. Yeah, I could eat the dandelion. I do have two of them, so. Yeah, I'll eat one of them. And just for all the curiosity I have right now. Uh, there's nothing else right there. Okay. Just because I have so much curiosity going on right now. Curiosity flowing through my veins. I do want to go over here and just chop down that one rock, that one twig or whatever. And just kind of walk behind those leaves and see if there's actually another statue hidden behind there or what. Because I'm very curious about that, so. There you go. There you go. Wait, is that something there? What is that? Waffle, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year, Grandpa. What? What is this? So he's still alive? He's still out there? He's going to come on the, uh, Grandpa Shrine? Wait, what? Is he dead? Or is he alive? I can't tell. It says he's going to return. Is he going to be a ghost? Or is he going to be, like, is he retired right now? And he's just kind of hanging out in, like, Florida or Hawaii or something like that right now. And then on our third year, he'll come back and see all the progress we've done. Be super duper proud of us or something like that. That'd be really cool. Oh, man, there's a couple, uh, probably getting comments about this. A couple of spots right here I missed. There you go. And there you go. All right. But, uh, I, I guess we'll, yeah, I, I'll put up a couple stuff real quick. Uh, we'll give people some tulips and some other stuff. Uh, see if we can buy some more stuff from uh, Pierre. There we go, put that up. And then we can go fishing as well. I don't know how much energy fishing takes. 
And then hopefully we're actually able to find more uh, random. Ah, oh, man, I don't know. I kind of want to go this way. I kind of want to go northwards just to hopefully find some more like, you know, horseradish or, or, or dandelions or whatever. You know, random things I could eat leeks that will hopefully get me some energy back and maybe more. Uh, what are they called? Salmon berries. I can never remember the name of those things. <laughs> like they're they're so abundant yet. I can never remember their name. <laughs> No cinnamon berries up here, unfortunately. I do know a lot of them seem to spawn around here, though. And there, yeah, see, there's that red shrine right there. It looks like a different creature. It looks like a little minion or something like that, like I said previously. So that's a very interesting little thing right there. I'm seeing any, uh, oh, 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 horseradish right there. I guess I'll eat that. Just get a little bit of energy. Oh, it's a silver star, though. Man. Well, I get 18 energy. That's not really that much. I, I think I'm going to rather uh, save that and get, yeah, I'm not seeing any right now. I'm not seeing any salmon bear around here. I can give him a gift. I just don't know what is he like, you know? I'm like, it's a trial and error sort of thing, so... Does he like horseradish? There you go. Another question mark. Man! Ah, I'm just trying to be nice. Just trying to give people gifts. Oh, man, it's 8 p.m. Ah, man, I don't know where Demetrius is right here. I'm like, he should be here, right? I just... Is he in his house? Is it closed? Am I allowed? Oh, I am allowed in here. Okay. Is he, oh, yep, he's all the way over there. He's, like, in the kitchen or something like that, so let's go give him a potato. Just to be uh, very friendly with him. Thank you. This is a very interesting specimen. Nice. And let's just chat with him as well. This valley has a very vibrant and diverse ecosystem. That's one reason why I was excited to move here. Yeah, me too. I'm like, we do have, uh, what do we have? Mountains, caves, rivers, oceans, lakes, forests, beaches. I guess that kind of comes with the uh, territory of oceans and stuff like that. But still, unfortunately, it's like way too late right now. So I don't think we're actually able to do anything. Except for maybe go to the... Uh, to the saloon and give people some gifts over there, you know, tulips and whatever else. I uh, think I'm going to eat these dan- Oh man, it's another silver star, which... <laughs> that's kind of weird that I'm complaining about getting a silver star uh, item right there, but still. I just kind of want to eat it to get some energy back, that way I'm able to continue doing some other stuff, right? But uh, I might have to wait until tomorrow, but... Tomorrow we're basically booked. Like, we have that festival or whatever that's going on over there, so... I don't know. I, I guess I would go- Oh man, a rabbit right there! I guess I'll go over to the saloon, see what's going on over there. And we do have, remember, we do have a uh, better luck today, right? There you go. I guess I'll just do that. So, uh, yep, go through the trash. Nothing there. Yep, nothing there. You'd find something by now, considering we have good luck right now. And, uh, nothing there. Also, want to keep my eyes peeled for any wiggling in the ground. Those are just leaves. I think it's going to look like the, uh, what? Oh, man, and yeah, we have this over here. What is that? Soggy newspaper. Am I able to pick? Okay, I am able to pick that up. I was editing last, uh, editing last episode, and I was like, yeah, it's not really that good of a spot to put. I think I'm going to put it right here. That way it's a little bit more accessible. It's right next to the bridge. So, uh, put the crab pot right. I guess I have to put it right there. Okay, put another bait inside there. Uh, oh, yep, there you go. Perfect. And I'm not seeing any wiggling there, but we can go to the beach real quick. Go check upon what's, uh, going on over here. We have a clam. Grab that, boy. Nice. And yep, there's the blue one up there. Can't really see it right now. It's like really, really dark and pitch black. Uh, but we have... What is that? Oh, it's, that's what we caught in the lake lines. Oh, wait, no, it's a mussel. Ooh. Let's see. Where's the... Oh, there it's right there. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be finding a... I, I, I think each location has a different creature, you know? And then this still needs 300 wood, unfortunately. I still don't have enough uh, uh, wood right there. We have 233 or 240 or something like that right now, which is okay. It's good. Just not enough. Yeah, 259, actually. Pretty good amount right there. Not bad. Is that... What is that right there? Like, I don't, I don't, I'm kind of hesitant to dig in a graveyard, but, uh, okay, I, I guess it's just rocks or something right there, but, uh, yeah, you can't really see too well whenever it's super dark like this. It is 11 p.m. I think the pub or, uh, the saloon, I think that place is open for a while, so I don't think, ah, oh, there's nothing there. I don't think we have to worry about that, like, oh, wait, who is that? Oh, hey, that's the guy from, uh, I don't have Salmonberry, but, uh, uh, Dad, does he like Daffodil? I don't really like this. Okay, oh, man, well, I guess we got... Negative hearts with Shane now because we gave him like daffodil right there. I thought he sent us a letter. He sent us like and like jalapeno poppers. What was that? What did he give me? Yeah, pepper poppers there. And well, he doesn't like my daffodil gift. He's getting late. Yeah, it's twelve p.m. or twelve a.m. right now. Let's go to the saloon. Uh, it's locked. Oh, it closes at twelve. Man. Oh, jeez. Hey, Clint. Uh, do you like newspapers? <laughs> Oh, do you like bomb? Can I give him? A, I can give him a bomb. Oh my god! Yeah, he might actually like it. Cherry bomb. No! Ah! Okay, this is this is really risky to try and gift a cherry bomb to someone, especially someone who's walking like Clint over there. 
<laughs> that was kind of a bad idea. Just kind of ever so slightly a bad idea there, you guys. <laughs> Man, I should not have done that right there. And he's back to the blacksmith area there. It's 12 uh, something PM. Oh man, I picked up a broken CD. I guess I'll take that, but it's 12.50 right now. It's getting really late and I have to traverse all across city. Oh, it's 1 a.m. Ah, I don't know if I'm going to make it here. Ah, man, there's the... Okay, here's the bridge, finally, golly. Uh, 110. Am I going to make it? Can you sprint? No, I, I guess I'm sprinting right now because it just slowed down right there. 120. Ah, it's a race against the clock. Am I going to make it back? I hope I am. 130. Okay, we're at the edge of the screen. We should make it back. Should... Come on, 130, 130. Oh, there's two things right there I can get. I don't, I don't think I'm going to grab them, though. That's going to slow me down. 140. Oh, it's getting really close. Oh, this is bad. Go, 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 go. 140, 140, 140. Oh, I think I got comments from someone last episode or the episode before saying, oh, what if he like passes out right next to his bed? 150 AM. This is about as close as you can get. Level three foraging. Hey, plus one axe proficiency. New uh, crafting recipe, the tapper. Ooh. So what is that? Does that get like sap out of a tree or something like that? Like a tree tap? I assume so. Oh, did I? Yeah, I think I watered all my crops yesterday, so I don't have to worry about that. I don't think I sold anything yesterday, but I'm like, I guess I could sell. I'm like, you know, this early into a game. I... Oh, man, that's a 63 energy from that tool up there. Golly, that's good. 45 from that. But I feel like they're just more valuable whenever you actually give them to people as gifts, you know? I put the clam right there. Uh, soggy newspaper. I, I, I guess I'll put that in the lost and found <laughs> along with a broken CD because that's what you guys said uh, Whenever I find something like that, I, I guess we could uh, oh, and yeah, we have full energy right now, which is good But I guess we can do that, but we have leeks there. We have horseradish there. I think those are strawberries So I guess every now and kind of like the uh, these over here. Oh, I think I can harvest the uh, the bear or, uh, What are those like green beans or something like that? Uh, I think I can harvest those. We had the little plus symbol right there. Cool. Uh, I don't know what I was talking about just a second ago. And what's that down there? Are those parsnips? Oh, yeah, they are. Any, uh, no, no gold star ones. Man, and I think these are cauliflower here. I, unfortunately, they're not going to be ready. Oh, and by the way, the festival uh, at 9 a.m. Let's not forget about that. But uh, I don't think these are going to be ready by the end of the heckin' season. So that's going to suck. And these things are starting to grow here. I think these are the rice shoots or something like that. And I don't know what these brown things are right here. Unless there's something completely new that I've never... Because I think we got these from the foraging bundle or something like that. Or uh, what was it called? The spring bundle for the uh, community center. And I think it was like we got 30 random seeds or something like that. Don't know what they are. So it's kind of like a mystery box, you know. So I water that one there. I can't tell. I think we did. Okay, good. Now, am I able to harvest? Yes, we get green beans from these. Which will suck because these are all die. Oh, man, I'm out of water. <laughs> but these are all die like next week or something like that, right? But, uh... The stalks of them grew, so maybe the long part of that's over, and all we have to do now is just kind of wait for even more green beans to grow? Uh, I don't know. Either way, uh, I guess we'll cut down a few more trees. We're at 250-something right now. And there's a tree right there. Should I cut that down? I kind of like that there. It's kind of a little bit of decoration. I like it. But I guess I'll cut down a couple trees over here at 250, 259. I don't know. Cut down. A, I'll cut down a couple of them that are like kind of blocking this little shrine or whatever this is over here. Grandpa's shrine. Just because that's kind of... Oh, what? Oh, we got a maple seed. I thought that was like a golden sword or something like that right there. That would have been crazy. But uh, there you go. Cut down that tree. And then I'll cut down that tree that's in front of the Grandpa Shrine. And uh, grab all these. Which, by the way, you can see I'm, I'm I'm purposely not cutting down any of these little little shrubs. The flower... Man, the, it hit 9 a.m. really, really fast right there, you guys. So the flower forest or the flower festival, whatever it's called, taking place in the, in the forest right below us, I think. So let's go down there here in just a bit. But uh, what are we up to in... 290 one more tree should do it and then I'll feel comfortable and then I guess after the flower oh yeah I'm like that looks like look at that it looks like a gravestone it's a shrine I assume he's not here anymore like like he's passed but at the same time it's, it, he's going to come back like he's like it's such a weird thing like is he actually going to be a ghost or what's going to go on there I'm very confused and also at the same time very intrigued I also want to, before we go to that festival, I want to go empty out my inventory. We're going to have 300 wood. I think I'm going to put up, you know, some of the trash, like the newspaper clippings and whatever else that I have. Or uh, whatever that thing is. And soggy newspaper. I guess it's still soggy, even though we got it like 12 hours ago or something like that, right? But, uh, you know, clean out my inventory. I'll keep a, a few, uh... Oh, actually, I don't know. During the last event, I wasn't able to give people things, so it might make sense to put them up inside of here. There you go. Put up all that stuff up in there. And muscle... Ah, where do I put that? I, I, I guess I'll put that in the, the brown, the default. 
like the general items chest. Like, I don't know where else to put it. There you go. Put that up there. Put that there. P uh, pepper poppers. I don't know what to do with that. I'll put that over here. There you go. And then wood. Definitely want to put that up there. And we have plenty, so don't have to worry about that. Now, I think we're good to go, you guys. We're $2,019. Actually, I think we're able to get a uh, an upgraded pick now, right? I believe so. We have $2,000. We have five uh, copper ingots. I believe we're able to go to the blacksmith now, pay him, and he'll upgrade our uh, pickaxe to an upgraded version of the... Uh, I guess I'll cut these down right here. Just kind of make a path. I don't know if these sticks like respawn or anything like that over time, but there you go. Speaking of stuff respawning over time, you can see the grass right there. Yeah, that hasn't respawned over time, which sucks. Oh! Here we are! The flower festival or whatever. So what is this? I just like got dropped into it. Uh, I assume I go this way? I'm like, it was water the other direction. Oh wait, what is this? Wait, where are we at right now? Oh, I can't even pull up the map. Hey, there's Pierre. Seasonal decor. Oh, I have good money right now, which is great. 10 daffodils for, wow. Attrition, uh, makes a good flower. Rare crow, collect them all, five of eight, 2,500. Man, I can't afford that. Ceiling leaves and blah, blah, blah. Dandelions and daffodils, like, I like, like, we get 10 of them for 50? I, I'll take it. Oh, no, he only has 10 of them in stock. Uh, I'll take two of them, sure, why not? You, you know, get a little bit of business going in here. <laughs> Couple flowers, recipe. Uh, well, yeah, I have the recipe right there, so I guess I'm able to make that. <laughs> but I guess if I actually get this, it will actually uh, appear in my crafting menu, right? Couple flowers, an actual one, so I, don't, I, I have to spend a thousand to make my own or just buy one for 250. Seasonal plant, seasonal, seasonal decor. This decoration changes with the seasons. Huh. Ornamental chain, uh, plant that changes with each season doesn't need to be watered. Interesting. There's three of them right there for 350 That's a lot of money, but we can afford it. But at the same time... Uh, should we get the one with a barrel? Or should we get the one that's like a little pot or a little, little, little flower bed? I don't know. I can't, Should I get a little bit of each? But at the same time, that's a lot of money. I think I'll get the one with the pl uh, the pot. So there you go. Just spending some money over here. Just because it seems like these are rare things you can't buy any other time of the year, right? Oh man, there's like a big turkey there, like a giant jello thing. And like everyone's over here hanging out. Hey, there's Willy. I should have brought my fishing pole. Hey, I brought mine. Or, uh, well, I guess I didn't because I don't have an inventory. <laughs> uh, who's this guy again, Gus? Yep, uh, frog season is really starting to pick up. Eh. Oh wait, who's this, Pam? Now this is the life, huh, kid? Sweet wine, a babbling brook, warm air. Did I mention wine? <laughs> she she really is like an alcoholic. It's kind of crazy. Uh, you know what? I'll admit it. I really like flowers. Eh, that's good to know, Sam. So maybe I'll gift you some flowers and uh, you'll actually like it. Unlike this guy, Sebastian. Ugh. I guess he was dragged over here against his will. He don't want to be here. It's so colorful and this guy's all dressed in black and stuff. And here's Abigail. I really hate dancing in front of everyone. It's so embarrassing. Uh, nothing to be embarrassed about. Everyone's having fun here. Let's see. Mmm, excellent sauce. Slurping up that sauce. Shane is. Demetrius, these springtime dances can be traced back to ancient fertility rituals. Ah, interesting little thing there. Kind of reminds me of Bug Snacks when, uh, what was her name? The, the archaeologist woman, like, did some weird, like, dancing thing <laughs> to ward off Bug Snacks or whatever. <laughs> Are you going to be dancing today, Waffle? You bet, Jody. If I actually can dance, I definitely will. Who's this, Robin? Yep, Robin. Uh, see, I'm starting to learn everyone's name over here. I don't know if I actually uh, misremembered anyone or incorrectly guessed anyone over here yet. Oh, the air uh, smells so sweet with all these flowers. I agree. It's not going to be smelling too sweet for long. It's going to be smelling like hot summer here pretty soon. It's going to be smelling like sweat. <laughs> Caroline over here. I wish uh, Pierre would spend this time with the family. Eh, I'm like, he's got he's, he's to have a shop over here. He's got to make money. He's got to provide for the family, right? Woohoo! I'm stuffed. Hey, have you tried the red jelly yet? Uh, don't look like anyone's tried it. It looks like it's completely intact over there, Clint. I wonder if Emily would dance with me. <laughs> Shoot your shot there, Clint. Go see what she says. Harvey, I'm working on uh, working up the courage to ask someone to dance with me. Hey, I'll dance with you if you don't want to dance with anyone else. Penny, I'm nervous. <laughs> if one's over here is so nervous. I like dancing, but the oh, and Maru, I like dancing, but this one's a little stilted. The old timers really love it though. And there are two kids that are uh, playing in the middle there. Who's this guy again? I keep forgetting this guy's name. Marlin. I think this is the Adventures Guild guy. Yeah, I keep getting him and Willie mixed up. I don't know why. And also uh, the mayor guy. <laughs> I guess they're all old, so kind of makes sense. Marnie looks lovely today. Huh. I guess this is Marnie right here. <sighs> Love is in the air and I'm still single. Did you not hear what th th this guy just said? 
whatever his name, I forgot it already. I was just talking about how I remembered people's names. Haley here. Hey, I'm practicing my dance moves. It needs to be perfect. Yeah, it seems like she was pretty rude last time we talked to her. She's upset with me getting in the way talking about her. And there's a wizard up there. What's he doing all the way up there? Uh, Alex here says, I'm just enjoying the scenery. <laughs> me too. Uh, it looks so like it's beautiful. It's not going to be beautiful for long with it. Sun splashing down on you, burning your skin and whatnot here pretty soon, right? Uh, should we start the dance now? Yes, uh, let's start. Oh, no, no, don't, not yet. I haven't talked to Evelyn yet. We have Evelyn and George over here. I believe these are the last two people. Oh, yeah, and the kids. Uh, I've been working on these four arrangements for a week. Do you like them? Yeah, they look beautiful. Look at all these little barrels over here. I guess you bought them from Pierre, huh? There's like a giant one right here, too. Look at that. Let's see what George has to say real quick, though. Flowers? I can hardly see them. <laughs> Well, go get your glasses, old man. Vincent, uh, that's not fair. Why can't I be the flower queen? Well, because I'm going to be the flower queen. <laughs> Someday I'm going to be the flower queen. Well, I guess this is the reason why. I guess you're just not as good as Jazz over here, so you can't be the flower queen there, J uh, almost called him Jazz. Uh, what's his name? Vincent. I think it is. I don't even think I could check right now. I can't tell. Yeah, I can't even talk to him again. I think it's Vincent. And I think... Oh, wait, hold on. If I talk to these two people down here... Leah, hi Waffle, glad to see you here, I guess not, so there you go. And then, uh, Elliot, I wore my best shirt for the dance. This sort of thing doesn't happen very often. Huh, you both look good, so that's great. And I think with that, we've talked to everyone. Yeah, and I, I do believe, uh, last time you guys told me during the egg hunt or whatever, you can't, like, socialize with people there, you can't, like, it, it, that doesn't count for that mission there. Well, you can socialize with them, but it doesn't count for that one mission where you have to, like, introduce yourself to everyone, so that's kind of interesting. Like, I guess all this, and up there's the wizard, which... Can I, can I get, how do I get up there? There's a path up there. I can't talk to the wizard. I wonder if there's like a special thing that'll happen. If I'm actually able to get up there to the wizard and talk to him and be like, hey, what do you think about the uh, the festival here? And I can't see where I actually am. I, I do know we're somewhere near the beach, but yeah, I don't, I'm not seeing a way to get up there. I guess that's like a thing there. It can have salmon berry and actually, I think I know where we're at. Yeah, I guess they randomly built this like wood plank there to make a little bridge to go all the way over to here to this special area specifically for this flower festival and normally that little plank you can't walk across that ooh interesting so it looks like they have like i don't know what like chicken or turkey there like jello there i don't know if that's sushi or ribs salad there some drinks i think that's like a big thing of like maybe fruit punch or something like that that's like green i don't know green apple punch <laughs> I don't know, green Kool-Aid. Who knows? Either way, I guess I can't talk to the wizard. I don't know how to talk to him. Maybe, maybe, maybe like, two or three years from now, I'll actually be able to, like, float up there and talk to him during, like, the next, next, next flower festival or something like that. I don't know. Either way, it seems like everyone's ready to go. Let's start. Let's get the dance going. Let's see. So how are we going to do this minigame? We had to pick up a bunch of eggs last time during the egg hunt. What are we going to do for this? Oh, wow. Wait, where am I at? Oh, there I am up there on top left. Everyone's in the middle dancing right now. Oh man, the boys are walking towards the girls. I can't really tell who's who though. I think that's Sebastian on the bottom right. Because I can tell with his black hair, right? And they're done dancing? I think so, yep. Yeah. Looks like it. Just a bunch of dancing there. That was fun. Time to go home. Really? I had no interaction with that? I guess not. Uh, okay. Uh, that was kind of weird. <laughs> like, I thought maybe we'd actually be able to do something like the egg hunt there, but I guess not, huh? That kind of sucks. That's a whole entire day gone right there, you guys. Man. And I still need to go to Pierre's and see if I can actually buy more of those, uh... What do you call them? Like, 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 gold star... What do you call them? I can't think of the name right now. Parsnips, that's what they're called. Why am I not able to break? Oh, that's the, uh, oh, here you go, break that. I guess I cut down a couple trees here while I can. There you go. Uh, while, while I still have a little bit of energy, and we do have a little bit of time as well. You know, just get a little bit of extra wood, especially because I do know I want to make a, uh, oh man, can I go over here? Okay, perfect. Uh, I do want to make a chest that we actually place outside, and, uh, we could actually place our tools inside of that. That way I don't have to go inside my house to grab, you know, the watering can or the sickle or scythe, scythe or whatever else. You know, keep my work tools within reach of us out here. And, uh, there you go. 
I did get a, I did get a comment from someone a while ago saying I don't even need, need to bring my watering can with me everywhere. So yeah, whenever, whenever I'm done watering everything, I guess I could just put them up and then I'll be good to go. Let's see, what is this? Oh, I thought that was something right there. I guess not. I'm like, it was. It just wasn't anything I was able to interact with right there. But either way, uh, is there anything I want to sell before uh, during the night? I guess we could place this flower. Let's place this like uh, should I play? Can I place that there where that hole is? I guess not. I guess I'll place it right there. So we have spring right now. This is what it looks like. I wonder if it's going to turn into like a sunflower during the summertime. That's going to be interesting. Either way, I don't think we have any other. Oh, there's the dog sleeping right there. I don't think we have any of the other uh, other stuff I want to sell. So put it Actually, this button. Perfect. And we have a daffodil there as well. Nice. All right. Well, I guess we'll go to bed 12, 10 a.m. Go to sleep for the night. Yep. Let's go. Day 24 of spring, we got, uh, oh yeah, I forgot I was selling uh, shells earlier on. So we got 62 gold right there, not too bad. Uh, we still need to get a little bit of money back until we actually uh, upgrade our pickaxe back to copper like I originally wanted to do when we had $2,000, right? <laughs> Either way, the chicken or the rooster is cacawing right now. Weather report, what's it going to be tomorrow? It's going to be clear and sunny all day. I forgot to do it yesterday, so I don't know. Is it raining right now? I don't know. Let's see, uh, somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on my side. Whoops, probably not going to be a good idea. Oh, and living off the land. What is this? Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. So now listen up. Fruit trees, they take an entire season to grow. So plan ahead. If the area directly surrounding your new tree isn't clear, it will interfere with the growth. Once your fruit tree is mature, it'll produce delicious fruit for you every day while in season. Better start saving up. Yeah, those were pretty expensive if I remember correctly, like 10,000 or something like that from uh, Pierre, I believe, right? So, oh man, we have a lot of things done right now. Wow. Hold on. More, yep, more strawberries right there. Yep, very uh, similar to the green beans over there that were growing on the left side of our farm. So that's pretty cool. What if there's a way to more efficiently grab, uh, harvest all your crops and stuff like that? Like maybe, oh man, don't eat that. Like maybe uh, use like the sickle and you'll get a lot of them, I assume. You'll be able to get like a big, like, like, like area like you'll be able to harvest like three of them at once or something like that i don't know why i'm having so much trouble remembering words today <laughs> either way let's uh let's water our crops i'm pretty sure like i said those are the uh what are they not 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 cabbages i don't know why i'm thinking of cab i'm like it kind of looks like cabbages there but the uh, cauliflower I, i'm pretty sure those aren't going to be ready but i'll still water them anyways still don't know what this brown stuff is right here apparently we just got something i don't know what it is though and these green beans yeah these are not ready unfortunately but i'll still water them and then I do want to make a chest out here for four or uh, 50 wood. We have that. I need to go put that up. But oh, man, uh, wild horse rash. We have a gold right there and some silvers over there as well. Nice. I don't believe. Let's see. Let's put all those up. Perfect. Put these up. Boom, 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 boom. Perfect. Yeah, we still have one uh, gold parsnip right there. So we didn't add any right there, which sucks. Uh, sy uh, scythe. Yes. I keep on calling it sickle, scythe, all that kind of stuff. Carving knife. I guess I'll put that in that chest as well. Uh, but how much wood do we have? We have 337. I'll have to cut down a couple more trees here in just a bit. But I do want to make a chest and place it outside, like right outside of our house, you know, for convenience. I don't have to keep coming out here, right? So how am I going to do that? Open up this crafting chest. Put that there. All right. And then I guess put this here. There you go. Perfect. Or, uh, yeah, you know what? I'll pick that up. There you go. Put it right here. Or should I do it right here? Can I place that there? Why can't I place that there? Man. All right, I'll place it there then. All right, so uh, watering can. Did we water everything? I think we did. Okay, so that means I don't need that right now. Ho. Uh, I kind of want to keep that in case we come across stuff. And then scythe, I guess I'll put that up for right now. We do still need that. And uh, strawberry, I don't know why I didn't put that up. Let's go put that up. Just because it is somewhat rare. I don't know if these things like will spoil over time. Like we have random... Oh yeah, we had a silver star last time too. Cool. Uh, but I don't know. Like I kind of want to keep those just because they only grow in the spring. They're somewhat rare apparently. And I don't, I don't want them to go to waste. But either way, let's get down like one more tree or something like that. And then we'll have 300 wood. And then we'll go repair that bridge. See what happens whenever we repair the bridge. And then, uh, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll have to see whether or not we can end off the episode at that time. So, let's see. Like, who knows what we're going to... What, like, cutscene or something like that's going to happen over there. Okay, we're over 300 right now, which is great. So let's go over there. And we have 1631. I guess I'll sell some of my stuff, get a little bit of money. And then while we're in the area, we'll go to the blacksmith. So... Let's grab five copper bar. Perfect. What else do I want to sell? Oh, yeah. And then I can uh, I can get even more copper bar there because I do have some ores, which is great. Oh, yeah. Uh, I guess we'll take the broken CD and the soggy newspaper. Go put that in the lost and found. See if that actually does anything. <laughs> Leaks. I guess we'll say yeah, I'll sell. I'll sell the silver star stuff. Tulips. I, I kind of want to keep that, though. But the gold star stuff, I definitely want to keep. Hmm. 
Is that going to be enough money? Like, I hope. Mm, I don't know. I guess we'll see. Either way, uh, so 1631. Yeah, we only need $369 and we'll be good to go. But let's go over here now and let's go to. Oh, man, there's even more stuff right there. Cool. So I'll be able to actually sell even more trash. Daffodils, leeks. Oh, man, there's even more up there. Oh, is this work now? I think it's out of order still, yeah. The bus to Coleco Desert is out of service, yeah. I wonder how you actually end up fish, uh, fixing that thing. It's probably going to be pretty uh, late game stuff there, honestly. But let's go over to uh, Pierre's shop. Oh, yeah, and then we need to go to look at the calendar. I haven't looked at the calendar. I wanted to look at the calendar whenever I came back from doing uh, some busy work. Well, I didn't do that, unfortunately. Well, it doesn't look like we have any quests over here, but I'll still look at the calendar anyways. Uh, yeah, no help, no help wanted are ready to go. Uh, but yeah, there's the flower dance. There's the egg festival. Nothing going on right now, but Pierre's birthday tomorrow. Ooh. Hold on. Do I know what Pierre likes? Definitely want to remember that because it's probably going to be happening next episode. So there's Pierre right there. He does like tulips. Perfect. We have tulips at home. And I think he opens up on, yes, 930. Perfect. Well, good Pierre's. Hey, how are you doing there? I think it's $10,000 for that backpack, so I'm not ready for that just yet. But I do want to sell him 62 for the wild horse rash. Yeah, okay, take it. And then two silver star dandelions. There you go, a little bit of money there. Three silver star leeks. Oh, perfect. We're back over 2,000. Awesome. And then uh, take that daffodil too. Maple seeds, sap. I kind of want to keep those just in case I want to use those for whatever else. But we're back over 2,000, which is great. That's kind of the point <laughs> why I wanted to do that. I've got one of my luck was. Was my luck bad today? I think it was. <laughs> Nah, nothing right there. That makes sense. <laughs> but uh, where am I going? I'm going... Is it here? I think it is the uh, the mayor's place that has the... Lost the I don't think... Either the... Oh, there he is right there. Hey. Oh, God, I wanted to click. Okay, whatever. Either way. Uh, so there's a lost and found. So there's a CD there. The town's lost and found box. Am I able to put anything in there? I don't think so. I'm like, it, it was literally in the trash. So I don't know. It's not really lost. It's found, but it's not really lost. <laughs> Well, someone wanted to throw it away, so maybe they're not wanting it to be found. <laughs> I don't know. That's kind of my thinking there, you know? <laughs> Either way, how are you doing there? The saloon can get pretty lively at night. Sometimes we even put a coin in the jukebox. Chuckle, I think we already uh, talked to him about that. And I was like, oh, man, you guys know what a jukebox is? That weird Spotify machine? Oh, man, we didn't check the crab pots yesterday. Yeah, because it was like morning time, and then we went over there for the festival or whatever and didn't really get any time to, uh, to do anything there. Man. All right, well, either way, more bait right there. I guess we'll go down to the ocean down here. Check up on that as well. And uh, while I'm down here, was I going to do something down here? I th think I was. I'm looking for any wiggling in the sand right now, and I'm not seeing any right now. I'm probably going to get comments like, oh, man, a crab. We actually caught a crab. Cool stuff. Oh, yeah, I wanted to, uh, to fish in the river. That was something I wanted to do. Uh, but, you know, while, while the blacksmith is open, I do want to go over there, see if we'll actually upgrade our pickaxe. And uh, hopefully, I, I'm like, I don't know if you actually do need a, a better pickaxe. Like, what are we at right now? It's just a pickaxe. I assume it's made out of, like, iron or stone or something. I, I don't know. It doesn't say. But uh, I assume maybe you need a better pickaxe, kind of like Minecraft, to get uh, iron ore on, like, level 40 or whatever, maybe. I don't know. Uh, nothing in that trash right there. <laughs> All right, let's go check up on the, uh, the blacksmith guy up here. He should be open today, right? I, I forget which days people are closed. Like, Pierre's is closed on Wednesday. Oh! Uh, it's closed on Wednesdays, and someone else was closed on, like, some other day, I forget. But, uh, upgrade tools. Oh, yeah, shop. What does he have? Oh, I could buy iron ore here. Ooh. Yeah, so I don't even need to get down to... Uh, well, I don't have the money. I, I have enough money to get a new pickaxe, but... Upgrade tools. Uh, yeah, I'll upgrade the tools to get the pickaxe. Hmm. Copper axe, copper hoe, copper trash can. <laughs> Uh, the pickaxe versus the axe. Which one? I'm like, they're all good. They're all, like, equally used, if you ask me. I think I'll get the pickaxe. There we go. Thanks. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple days. Okay, well, that makes sense. It's not an instant thing. Oh, I'm still working on your copper pickaxe. It won't be ready today. Yeah, okay. I'll have to come back a little bit later, but yeah. I, I guess. And I guess while he's busy with that, I can't buy anything from his shop, huh? Well, that kind of sucks, but... What was it, like 140 or something like that for one iron ore? Yeah, we could just buy, like, what, two or three more that we need in order to make the iron ingot to get the sprinkler? I guess we could do that, huh? Either way, uh, is there something else I was going to do? Oh, yeah, I was going to go fish in the river, but who's this? Penny. We're very... Man! Dog keeps on trying to get my attention in the background. <laughs> Sometimes he actually brings a toy to me and puts it at my feet like he wants to play while I'm recording, you guys. <laughs> it's so cute. But I think he's just trying to get my attention right now. I definitely have to end off this episode pretty soon so I can play with him. 
or like let him outside or whatever he wants to do. Either way, Penny says, uh, we're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm donating to it the best I can. Ha hey, have a piece of truff. <laughs> I wonder if she'd actually like, hey, here's a piece of, what is this soggy newspaper? Here's a charity box. Oh, I wonder if I actually can give him anything like that. Here's a daffodil. You like daffodils? Thanks. This looks nice. Hey, she actually liked that. That's good. Nice. So, uh, what was I doing right there? Oh, yeah, I was going to go over to, uh, well, I don't think I'm able to talk to him while he's working, right? Like, I don't know if I'm actually go able to go behind the counter for, oh, yeah, and then I want to repair the bridge, too. Yeah, we have 306, uh, wood, perfect. Uh, but I, I, I think I, I think I'm not able to go behind this guy's counter to actually gift him something. Oh, yeah, I am. I'm not able to go behind someone's counter, but I forget who it was. So am I able to give him a bomb, a cherry bomb? Oh, I am, but I'm able to blow him up. Ah! So are you not able to gift someone a cherry bomb? Because it gives you the gift icon. <laughs> like, look at this. Or am I hitting the wrong button? No, I'm not. I've just put another bomb. Ah! Okay, well, thankfully, he's not getting killed by that. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know how you're supposed to gift people heckin' bombs, or maybe you're just not, not supposed to do that. <laughs> maybe this is kind of a bad idea, but I do want to fish in the river here, see what we can find, see if we can find a uh, special fish that we can't find in the ocean or the, the lakes. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, I didn't reel that in. Good timing. There you go. Another one right there. Let's see if we we'll actually get a hit here in just a sec. I'm trying to pay attention, because it, it, it plays a little sound whenever you actually snatch something, which is great. There's like really no visual feedback to see if it costs something. Unless there is, and I just haven't been paying attention, but there is that sound that happens. Oh, oh, yeah, okay, so you get a, oh, am I hitting the wrong button? I feel like I'm hitting the wrong button. Let me, let me do right click. I keep on hitting left click. I feel like that's the wrong button. But there is a little exclamation or point above your head when if you actually catch something. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm hitting the right button, but like nothing's happening. I guess I'm not reeling it in fast enough. It's getting away. Yeah, this is going to be the last one until we go down there and try and fix it. Oh, oh, there we go, got it. Okay, keep this behind the fish. Come on. I wonder if this has something to do with the quality of the fish. Like, if I keep this behind it perfectly. Ah, oh, man. A sunfish. Six-inch sunfish. Not bad. But I wonder if I keep that behind the fish. We'll, we'll get, like, either a silver or a gold starfish. That'd be pretty cool. Either way, let's see. I'm going to try and catch another one, just for curiosity's sake. Maybe sell it to Willie or something like that. Maybe maybe gift it to him. Maybe give him to... Oh. Maybe gift it to him as a gift. Ah, oh, man. We haven't gotten one of those little treasure boxes in a while. We got there in that lake that one time. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Nice. So is that going to be a silver star or gold star? Nah, it's just a regular one. All right, I'll catch one more. Or attempt to catch one more. Who knows what I'm actually going to catch here. <laughs> Hopefully I actually get another box. I don't know. That might have just been like a very rare event to get a box while fishing. I don't know. Let's see. Hopefully I actually get something here. And I, I'm sure you actually catch stuff a lot. Oh, oh. Sure, you catch stuff a lot faster when you actually have bait with the fiberglass uh, fishing rod, but all we have right now is just a bamboo one, and uh, is this perfect? Perfect! Nice! And I'm using a mouse right now. I know someone... Smallmouth bass right there. Yeah, okay. Same thing uh, that we got in the lake, so that's kind of unfortunate. We need we need the largemouth one, or the big mouth, or whatever it's called, in order to get the... Uh, the whatever it is. Like, some sort of bundle over in the community center. I forgot what it was called. Some sort of bundle over there. Either way. Uh, okay, Willie's not out here, so that means he's inside here, which means I could potentially buy... Oh, then, yeah, whenever we go to bed, we're probably going to level up our fishing, perhaps. That's going to be really good, but... Gift him a, a fish? A gift? Thanks! Hey, no problem! Now, how about you gift me a discount? Uh, still nothing here. Yeah, nothing new here. Trout soup. It's a bamboo pole, which we already have training rod. I don't even know why it even lets you do this. Like, he gives you a bamboo one right off the bat, but whatever. Oh, man, we did get a gold one right there. Ooh. Well, then again, I could probably just sell that to get... Oh, yeah, I can't... Why did I sell anything right there? I could just... It's locked! I was just in there! Oh, well, there you go. I guess it was just closing up for the night right there. Then, huh? <laughs> Either way, let's go over here. Let's go fix this bridge. It's going to be almost 6 p.m. by the time I'm done with whatever's over here, I'm sure. And then we'll go home and we'll end off the episode. Use 300 pieces of wood to fix the bridge. Yes, sir -y. Let's see. What is... What's on the other side of this? As I'm, like, hitting the nails. How is that 300 wood right there? What... I don't know, but there's like coral over here or something like that. Looks like it. What is that? Yeah, coral. Ooh, interesting. Sea urchin. What are these, seaweed? Yeah, seaweed there. Huh. There's like little palm trees there as well. How am I able to... How am I able to cut down those palm trees? That'd be really crazy if I could. There's little, little, little pieces of water, like little... I don't know what you'd call these little things of water right here, but I know crabs like to hang out in those things. 
and like crawfish and whatnot, right? And I'm not seeing any right now. Am I able to fish in this though? I, that'd be kind of weird, but... Oh. Like, if I'm able to fish in here, I guess I'll try- Okay, yeah, you can't. Oh, the sea urchin right here. Now, what's the point of this area? What is this area? Like, I don't- I don't- Am I missing something here? Oh, wait, hold on, what's this? I guess I was missing- Oh, it's just another dock, huh? Interesting. Alright, well, I'll fish here a couple times. Hopefully get some- Oh, oh, immediate hit right there! Whoa! Nice! Oh, man. Ah, man, I'm not gonna get a perfect here. Try my best, but it's staying at the very bottom there, and I keep- Thinking it's going up. There you go, there you go, there you go. Perfect. Not, well, you guys know what I mean. Oh, I got a herring there. Cool. Let's see if we can get another one. Instant catch? Nope. Ah, oh, man. Or instant bite. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> Come on. Uh, it's not going. <sighs> Nothing's biting. I guess whatever. I guess I landed like straight on the heckin' herring right there. Hashtag heckin' herring. I'm not catching anything. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Right as I say that, no, still no uh, loot box right now, unfortunately, which sucks. I mean, these ocean fish are starting to get pretty hard. Like, look at this. It's really being evasive. That, man! Ah, I missed one. And we got Max right there, which is good, I assume. I don't know if that has anything to, like, to do with, like, uh, likelihood of catching a fish. I assume it does, you know, casting out deeper, in deeper water, you catch better fish, I assume, but, you know, bigger, better fish. At the same time, I haven't found anything most remarkable. Pretty much been catching the same fish over and over. Oh, okay, same. F oh, dip. I'm like, this is just, it's just the same fish icon right there. It'd be really nice if it, that little icon there was kind of, oh, man. It's kind of a preview. No! Man, I wish that little icon there was like a preview of what fish you're about to catch. Oh, man, those get pretty tough there, though. I assume it gets a lot easier once you have like the fiberglass fishing rod, huh? But. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what's going on with this, this over here, but there's a thing up here. Oh, whoops. What is this? Oyster. Noise. Noister? <laughs> Stupid. Is there anything else around here? Yeah, I don't think so. I think I got everything there, but it's pretty cool. So we have a fishing spot to the right, fishing spot to the left, and even more random things over here. We can get, like, corals and uh, sea urchins and other random stuff like that, I guess, huh? So, either way, I guess we'll just go back home, go uh, sleep and whatever else. I might be missing out on a bunch of like wiggling clay in the ground right now, but I am scanning over the whole area. I'm not seeing anything right now, unfortunately. There you go. Yeah, we don't have our uh, pickaxe, so it just took the first out. Oh man, another broken CD. Someone must have got really angry at someone's CD, waiting for that new Kanye West album to come out and breaking all your old Kanye West CDs and waiting because it's never going to come out. <laughs> Let's go back over here though. Go back home. Uh, I guess we could sell like sea. I, like I don't know. I kind of want to keep at least one sea urchin. Keep one uh, coral. Just like I said earlier in the in the in the playthrough, someone said, "Hey, keep at least one of everything because you might need it for later." So, I think I'm going to do that, and I'll put it in this chest over here. So, one coral. Whoa, man, that's a gold sea urchin right there. So I'll definitely keep that. Or you know what? Maybe I'll sell the other one just to get some money because I do kind of need the money. And then uh, I guess I'll sell pretty much everything else over here. I'll sell that soggy trash, the CD, broken CD. I don't think I can get anything from that. Anyways, two of those. <laughs> Perry and Winkle. I'll sell pretty much everything I have in my inventory right now. Let's see, there you go. And I'll put up that, that, and I think everything else is good to go. I kind of want to keep the crab, though. I don't know. Hold on. I might need to look at the smallmouth bass and the herring. I might have to look at the community center, see if anything wants those. So let's go over to the fish tank. River fish, sun. Oh, yeah, sunfish. Okay. So I definitely want to keep a sunfish. I know I gave one to whoever, whatever that guy's name is. But I'll definitely have to keep that. And I guess we'll have to go donate next episode. Sandfish, ghostfish, pufferfish, largemouth bass, carp, bullhead, and sturgeon, sardine, tuna, red snapper, and tilapia. Yeah, we don't have anything other than the uh, the sunfish there, which is a gold star right here. I th oh, wait, which one? No, that's a smallmouth bass. And there's a sunfish. Okay, so I'll make sure not to sell that one, but I think I'll sell pretty much everything else. We already gave the crab for the crustacean, uh, or the exotic, or whatever, whatever that was. You guys know what I mean. <laughs> but uh, I kind of want to get a little bit of money here, so let me just sell pretty much everything else here. Rip. And we have a little bit of wood right there and a little bit of sap. All right, so there you go. Guess we'll, uh, are these all watered? I think so. Okay, nice. Guess we'll go inside of here, go to sleep, and uh, I guess I'll end off the episode. So, yep, there you go. We have like $50 right now, so hopefully we get a pretty good amount of money from all this. And we are, wow. We got 240 from the gold sea urchin, 30 from a daffodil, 60 for leeks, and 80 for coral. Not bad, honestly, not bad. Fishing, we got uh, 100 for the crab, 20 for the periwinkle, 45 for the gold star mussel, 30 for a regular one. 75 for a smallmouth bass, that's gold star. 
uh, Silver Star Herring, 37 gold, and uh, Gold Star Oyster, 60, not bad. And uh, Gold Star Seaweed, you got 30 right there, nice. $800 in total, so now yeah, we're starting to build up our money again, you guys, that's great. So, either way, day 26 of spring has started, and I'm going to be ending this episode right here, because I know this is going to be another, like, 50-minute episode or something like that right now, and I don't want it to turn into another hour-long one. I know you guys like the hour-long one, like, two episodes ago or something like that, but I can't have hour-long episodes all the time, you know? So, either way, right now, I guess I'll just end off the episode and do my outro and all that kind of stuff. So, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, be sure to ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next episode of Stardew Valley comes out. Because we're heading towards the end of the month here, you guys. Either next episode or the episode after next episode, we're going to be starting summer. It's going to be crazy. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to take for our pickaxe to actually be done from the blacksmith. Then I guess we'll probably go back to the mines. And, and oh, yeah. Is not is today Pierre's birthday? I don't forget if today's Pierre's birthday or if that was some other day. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out next episode. But need to go give him a tulip and whatnot. Uh, but you guys already know the deal. There's a lot of stuff to look forward to in Stardew Valley. There's so much content. And it's definitely going to be a hundred episode series, if not longer. So there's a lot to look forward to. But until next time, thank you guys all very much for watching. And I'll see you guys here next time with some more Stardew Valley. Oh, bye there. Whoa!